Is it do the, women the, find that attractive that you're so goal oriented? I think for a little bit, and yeah. then they really <laughs> yeah, yeah. think they when hate they, it. When they're not. Well, you put your uh, I'll, 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 tell you, I'll, tell, I'll tell you right now, the record is 14 months. <laughs> <laughs> you're listening to the Dear Buddies podcast. You will grow from boys into men. Whatever, dude. What does that look? Don't get weird on me. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All those questions you can't bring yourself to ask your friends. Ask your buddies. Welcome to the Dear Buddies Podcast. Uh, make sure you check us out before we get started on YouTube. That's where we put up all of our full-length videos, uh, plus our TikTok. This is the fourth time we tried to start this podcast. Try uh, YouTube, uh, TikTok, Instagram, good at Dear God. Buddies Podcast. Uh, we have a great guest today. We're very excited. What's good God? I was I was going to talk about how great you are, but you're just being, just, you're like, just you're being still so like mad. Kind of <laughs> hey, you want me to do it? <laughs> Please. Everybody, welcome to the Dear Buddies Podcast. Be sure to check us out on Instagram, YouTube. YouTube is where we place <laughs> all the full-length videos of the episodes. And with me, as always, is my good buddy, Alex Pavone, and my other good buddy, Chris Scopo. Hey, our guest today is Mike Alvarez. <laughs> he has been replaced. <laughs> That was the best. Very moving off on all. the ones and twos. And <laughs> this week we are talking about the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> Shane Torres, everybody, our beautiful guest. He's been on uh, Thanks, Conan's Thanks, to Brian. The Late Show. Conan he twice. On, tours a lot with Burt Kreischer. He Comedy has a podcast Central. with Kyle Kinane. He's been on Comedy Central. Super funny guy. Thanks, he's got buddy. Kyle Kinane backing him up. I think our podcast is doing way better. <laughs> uh, Shane Torres, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause for Shane. <laughs> Shane, thanks, thanks for, for, thanks for being yeah. here, buddy. Yeah. We've yeah. got some tampons here for you. That that's made it into our new nest. Oh, they're legitimately. They're yeah, 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 they're legit tampons. We had uh, Katie Boyle in, and we discovered what tampons were, and we left them in here. That's what you guys talked about for you. Well, that no, that yeah. she she had made a comment that uh, Irish women were, are never told how to use tampons, and they had to like kind of figure it out on their own. And then she showed us how they're used. It was very bizarre. Do you guys remember? Yeah. yeah I can we, do one right now if you I want. I didn't know about the yeah, plastic. Sure. Well, they're, they're, these are both used. Because that's the applicator, right? And so the, this uh, is the yeah. applicator. Yeah. yeah. And you pull it all the way down until it clicks, but you can't click it because it's already bent. If you put your meaty palm in front of the tiny mm. thing that goes in the vagina, I can't see it. You go, <laughs> <laughs> Bear claws. You don't know whose vagina it is. <laughs> uh, and then you, yeah, like a syringe, pretty... you pop it in and there you yeah. go. Did you go yeah. home and, and show Becca that you know how to now use a tampon? She hasn't. She hasn't seen yet. But let me tell you, I'm. Gonna, you think I'm not volunteering to be the first well, one? Well, when to you go, guys have hey, kids, hey, when she starts yelling at me for no reason, I'm Ew. like, you want me to try to put one in? No. Ew. Oh, yeah, it's gross. All right, what are we talking about? That's you brought disgusting. it up. Did, did I did bring it up, but I didn't know it was going to be gross. For yeah. Christ's sake. All right. Well, you kind of knew. <laughs> <laughs> we can cut around it. What are we, What are we going to talk about there, Mikey? Well, today we're. Uh, uh, <laughs> What is happening? This whole thing is... is I'm this, having a great time. This thing time. started off the rails. This, this is like taking a plane out of Denver. <laughs> <laughs> it is technically in the air, but we really got to start getting some quick, uh, quicker altitude. Uh, so we're going to chat with Shane today uh, about long-distance relationships mm. because... I've been in one. You've been in, I've been one. in one. You've never been I've in a been relationship. In uh, not He's the one you've ever cared one? about. Been no, in you've one? been in a long distance. No, I, was, I meant any relationship. So I've been in one. <laughs> You've been in one long distance relationship? I mean, kind of. Yeah, they go from Minnesota. Yeah, the Minnesota girl. Oh, yeah. So then and she then, dumped me, remember that? But yeah. Shane, Shane just got out of a long distance relationship. Oh, and you've shit. been in um, several recently, right? No, I mean, not several recently. I mean, one of the last relationships <laughs> you had. Well, there was this gal in Minnesota, and then there was a girl in Pittsburgh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might have a pattern. <laughs> now, how many have you been in? Um... I guess two, but I dated another woman long. So like kind of three, but like really like two, you know? Like, How was the other one uh, sort of? Well, it was like one of those, like, I guess we're dating, but we're not. Official? Like, yeah, and it was like kind of what, you know, like the, the, yeah. they were open ends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the do, other two things. It was do they like, know you're, we're, you're in a relationship? Yes. Um, are you really starting with the other? <laughs> <laughs> The way you said that was like, well, two, and then maybe a third. I was like, do they know? Well, I'm or? trying to be like, give a. I'm trying to give a clear vision. Uh, 
vision of what is what it was. That makes yeah. sense, though. Yeah, I don't want to misrepresent it. You were yeah, those baby blues. Show them off to the people every day. In person, yeah. I wish. I, yeah. But the, see, the thing is, they long for it over FaceTime. <laughs> what, I, what I really want is to be missed, not loved. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I will be a successful comedian. Yeah. <laughs> so how did how did these start? All through comedy, essentially? Were they at shows, or um, were you on the road doing comedy? Or you whatever? know, like, some people are like are just attracted to brilliance. <laughs> and then some people are attracted okay. to a, the way a man can put a sandwich down. <laughs> <laughs> but these are all, the, to, oh, no, every uh, longest relationship I've ever been in. Well, like, my whole life is comedy, so, like, I guess everything kind of forms out of there yeah, in a yeah, lot yeah. of ways. But, like, um, but it, they weren't, like, necessarily at comedy shows or part, you know, like, it would kind of be these weird things. Like, so I guess that was probably seven years ago, the, the girl I kind of dated... I was back in Portland doing shows and working, and she came to some show, and she was like, you're really great. But she had nothing to do with comedy. You know, like, she was she, just, uh, like, she yeah, was not just, a comedian. Yeah, 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 but yeah like, no, and then we, you know, we kind of, like, struck it up, like, hit it off, and then we, like, you know, we dated for five months, kind of, like, you know, but, like, everybody, they were dating other people, and I was doing what I was doing. Sandwiches? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a few pounds. Easy. <laughs> uh, half a sandwich. <laughs> um, and then. Uh, so Portland and Pittsburgh, you said. Yeah, data growing from Pittsburgh for a little bit. And then. Um, Steel then Mill Broad, huh? What? Steel <laughs> Mill Broad, huh? Broad, huh? <laughs> Steel Mill Broad. Where are you from again? Toronto. Yeah. Winter Wayman, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know about. Some no. of that parka puss. <laughs> <laughs> How do you find, uh, though, that like they, they always seem to... Because I feel like in comedy, it's, it's, like, it's just so much easier to do it. Like, hey, I'll be in town three times a year. Yeah, well, like it's like I don't... I don't really... Um, I enjoy my freedom quite a bit, you know? So it's like, like long distance in some ways is really advantageous for me because like, I don't really like having to consider somebody on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, like in the sense of like... You're doing another show tonight? It's like, yeah. I'm gonna it's gonna be like this, you know, probably forever, you know. So wait there and I'll be home. So no, I'll be back eventually. So it's for me it's like if someone is as busy as I am, it's easier to want to schedule time. You know, like right. or like and, and since um uh sometimes some you know, like these women have their own lives, and they can do their own thing. You know, they don't have to consider me as much. Yeah, either. they can think too. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see if that decision comes down from the Supreme Court. <laughs> any day. Yeah. Uh, but so, like, I guess, like, what's what I enjoy about a long distance relationship is that I'm not always like constantly like having to check in, like, or like be like. <laughs> If I miss something, it's normal, you know. And then when we see each other, <laughs> is, it like my, is it like my girlfriend's in the bathroom kind of thing? <laughs> <laughs> I just like I, it's nice that somebody has their own. Like I like if I I don't want my relationship to be the definition of me, and that's like what a lot of people get into. You know, like so it's like you know when you meet two people and then they're dating and then they split and they're like I am not whole anymore and like they don't have this like sense of self like they did. I never want that. You know, like I want to date somebody who's as busy as I am or is as like or is as fine doing what they're doing as I am. You know, has like that, has that has have you found that yet in I, I local mean, relationships? <laughs> what and whatever local I mean, you've really, been in? It's truly me dating in the city of New York is it's pretty difficult. Why is that? Because you're traveling so much or just because the because it's just difficult in general? Um it's got two coding sets, let's say hot commodity. Just, yeah. <laughs> Just say it's a pretty stocked pond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I don't. Um, I don't. I haven't really tried it that much, honestly, because when I'm here, I'm not thinking about um, dating. dating all that often. And then, like on the road, you know, somebody flirts with you or whatever, and you don't have anyone to talk to. But, I feel you know, like, like too because I'm not going to do anything out. Yeah, you know, like there's like. And so, like, it's kind of, maybe it's not healthy, but it is kind of how a lot of that starts. Is it yeah. tougher when like you're dating somebody and like you're never around for? Family events, I can never bring you around. Is that like a pain? After a while, that to be a pain in the ass. Um, I think, I'm sure it is, but like, whenever we, I make time to see someone in that in that regard, I like, is uh, whatever they want to do, I'm all there. So you're, so you know what I mean? Like, like, so when, there's no like, like, like I'll be like, let's, I want to take you to dinner, or like, let's have, you know, like, let's do whatever we want to do. But like, if they're like, like when one gal, she was like. 
uh, my parents want to have us over for happy hours. Like, yeah, sure. You know, like that kind of stuff. Like, I like that's where I try to. So when you're when there, I'm with them, they are my time is there. When you're there, try, you're there. I try 100%. to be. Yeah, yeah okay. But, but that's like, why it's also kind of difficult for me too, because then I'm thinking about working a lot. You know, like so. Do you think that's the main thing that keeps you from wanting to date someone locally? Is because mm -hmm. you, if you're home, you're gonna have to think about them all the time. So you keep them. Uh, it's always kept at yeah, arm's length. I mean, I think about uh, well, the women I dated from you know long distance. I like I thought about them all the time too. I just say. Uh, you don't, have to, I, you don't have to spend the time yeah. with them. Like yeah. you could be doing your own well, thing. It's like, and it's like I wish time I, with it's them a goal with your for me. I'm not doing long distance again. I'm gonna try. Really, oh, I'm gonna done. try really hard. I'm gonna try. Like yeah. you know, like I might like sleep with someone, but I'm not. Yeah, like I'm not. Somebody has, you know, you never say never or whatever. But like, yeah, I just don't. It is really hard, and it's, and it's also like a repetitive pattern I have. So maybe I should like. Try and change the pattern. When you when you meet someone, because ultimately I, I haven't been happy in these relationships. You haven't. So, well, like you know, they they fall. Otherwise, I'd still be in. Them. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Do they kind of like? You are like were you like a commodity kind of? Was your trap? You come when you're a comedian, you're going to their show, and like, oh my god, this guy. Is I it mean, like I, more I don't think. And then like, I mean, oh. I think like, you know, comedy helps, I guess, in that sense that like. I guess I'm somewhat established or something like that, but that would help here. I mean, I don't think it's that different here than anywhere. You know, like I don't think it impresses a woman that much more here okay. than in or there and than anywhere. Else. I just think it's like, you know, like you just hit it off, and that's where I spend my time. Like if I met a woman here, when I meet a woman here, uh, it'll probably be at least at the very least adjacent to some kind of comedy thing. You know, like it's just where my life lives. Yeah, yeah. and it yeah. makes it easier too. Like yeah. to. to for somebody that gets it, yeah, or, I was like, or, no, I mean, or, 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 they'll be, or they'll understand the, you know, like, one woman was an artist, another one was an artist, and one was a concert promoter. So they kind of get the, you know, like, it's good fits, but um, yeah. So like, I mean, it's like if I meet and date a woman here, they'll probably be adjacent to comedy or in, in that kind of lifestyle space in some way, you know, like in the sense of like, they they're out at night or they're working. They're trying to pursue something creative, you know. Yeah. Is there, do you see a pattern at all with how they end th these relationships? Not well, violently. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I do nothing. Uh, <laughs> it's never in your uh, fault. Uh, are you good at? I bringing... grind them down until they're so upset. That are you good up... at bringing up on Facetime now? Is that your uh, go-to? Yeah, uh, I am not good at. No. It. no. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> how would it? How would it go? Like if you were gonna break I up with me do over that part. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, try, I, sweetie. Uh, I love you. Don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to now avoid going back to that area. Like, uh, you, you, oh, no, no, no. Like, I was like, I, I was like, I'm coming to this market before you, and I'll come to it after you. <laughs> how do you? Chattanooga needs Shane Torres. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like? How do you? Because I've been in two long distance relationships before. One girl I knew from. Is the one you're in now? Did yes. it start long distance? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And she and stuck around. I don't know how. No one knows how. Yeah, no, you think well, no one knows. Be, not a, a clue. A trans on her, something like that. A trans. Yeah. trans. Not a trans. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Completely different word. Yeah, whatever. Um, she might be got a, a trans. penis. <laughs> whatever. What do you want to do? Um, what do you want to do? <laughs> she was coming to New York for like stretches of um, like two weeks out of the month, so it was easy. It wasn't necessarily That's like pretty good. Like how often were you seeing these women? Three days a, 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 a month at most, uh, or I would say. Once a month. In like how month. long? Two days? Three days? Uh, anywhere between like three and five, but usually, but at least once a month. But like, would they uh, would go here girl, and you would a, go there, or was yeah. it mostly you? Or they'd meet me on the road somewhere, or like, or we go to New Orleans. Oh my, or... that's tough for the, That's tough for them. Yeah, that's a good no, time. No, you know. I yeah. loved I loved the hey I'm gonna be in this town why don't you come meet me here and hang out and then you have a girlfriend for the weekend and then it's just back to text and FaceTime. <laughs> yeah, I man. really enjoyed it, man. Like, <laughs> there's a, there's a bit of envy. No, but like, but like. <laughs> <laughs> or like uh, my last birthday, I was uh, in Philly that weekend, so I did shows down in Philly. She met me there, and then she came up here for a few days. And there any any places you go? Hey, meet me here. She's like, I don't like that city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like, come to beautiful Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, you know, like maybe, but it was also kind of one of these things that like I also I loved having some of these women join me on the road. So, but like I also don't in some regard because like I'm still at work. You know, like. <laughs> And it's like, I like to focus and I have my routine. Like, yeah. if you do things a certain way for, God damn it, how long have I, I guess I've really been on the road, like, as a full-time touring stand-up, headlining, or whatever kind of gigs for at least, f when did we move here? Seven years ago? So, I could probably, like, a year and a half in, I was really yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so five years, like, 
five years straight of building a habit the yeah. way I build it. You know, like it's a yeah. long time. Yeah, yeah, you can't get brunch in the morning if yeah, you have yeah. two shows on on Saturday. And yeah, I mean you do, Toledo. but then you just show up and you just like wake up. Like, yeah. or I fly in on. I never um, really minded being like, if I was like flying into a place and I would do two shows or whatever, and I'd be like fucking fried. I never minded like being like. I, it was always kind of like get your shit together. Like you're going to brunch with her and her friend. Like you right, know, right, like, right. like it's like she puts up with everything else. So, so you you need to like really kind of your career. You need, you, you need to show. You need to be the person like that her friends are asking about. And like you need to make up for the lost yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially, you're and I'm not very good at it sometimes too. But, but you, I try. But your career is like my. It's my favorite. It's thing. the only thing. It's not the only thing. I'm sorry. It's the most no, important is. thing. It is pretty much all I got. No, come on, stop! But that it's... reminds me. Hey, three hey. shows this week. <laughs> Kansas City. <laughs> and one special evening <laughs> at the Blue Room <laughs> in Missouri. <laughs> By the way, the flight was three hundred dollars more than the travel budget. They said. <laughs> so I'd really love to make up some of the money on merch. <laughs> so, so yeah. So your career is pretty it's much. It's like, well, like, and. I, for me, it is like, I'm, I mean, I think I can, I can love someone as much as I love my career, you know? I think that's like, I, that's like possible. Someone called out your first love. Yeah, I, I think it is. I think it's like my most important, really, it really, like it's what, what it's what I've chosen to do. It makes me happy and I'm good at it. You know, it's not that I don't want other things. I want it all, but like, you know, like there's this kind of hierarchy of like, you got to like have a, you know, family, career, like. For a lot of people, like their relationship is more important than their career, mm. you know. Or and for me, it's kind of like they're pretty parallel. Like I don't, my job always makes me happy. My career makes me happy when I get to do it. And I like it's not, I have no like, and I think it's valuable. Like I think like if I'm really invested in my work and doing it, and I'm trying to be good at it. No, there's nothing wrong with. Yeah. There's nothing. But some wrong people with think that. there is. Well, choosing, you said maybe you just... choosing that over a relationship. And by the way, relationships that weren't making me completely happy that were kind of failing. You I know, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think but people way... blame the, the, the work. You right. know, like... I think that's a way of settling in life and, and blaming it on not trying to go for it. Yeah. They don't want to, they're scared to go for it. So, a, they, they, like, it can be that. So, like, oh, I'm scared. But, oh, yeah. I have a family. I can't do that. I yeah. have, I have a Yeah, it, it can yeah, be that. But... And it also doesn't have to be that. But, like, you, yes, some people, for some people, that is what they do. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. No, and, and it's fine, but, like, we're all... I guess essentially all humans need that balance. Yeah. Not that, not that uh, you don't I mean, have but, but it. My, and... But like that balance, meaning like what your level of that balance is. And for me, it might be like 55, 45 or 60, 40 in favor of a career as opposed to other Being people who someone. need 75, 25. You know, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But do yeah. you th have you felt the feeling of like when you date these women, like, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to flip one day when you meet the person that lets it flip, right? So I like love, the importance of the person could be equal or beat the the, the career. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. It's, it doesn't it mean is. you have to stop the career, obviously. But like, have no, you no. have you thought that at all with these? Oh women? yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's like, and there's like, and it's always you know, it's a very much an absence makes the heart grow fonder kind of thing too. Yeah. You know, like because like you get, um, I was just in New Orleans and like uh, I went and took a trip with uh, my last girlfriend there once and we had a really great time. You know, and it's like it is my favorite place. So I was like. Oh yeah, we went here and we did the, you know, like those kind of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, so you have like, uh, you have like little, you know, little broken hearts in yeah, a lot well, of cities. Like, but yeah, yeah but, your broken heart, not yeah, theirs. Yeah, no, they're they're fine. Uh, <laughs> Is it tough bringing a different girl back there and be like, oh, that's where right? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. I'll let you know when I get a second one. <laughs> Anyone ever surprise uh, you on the road, like when you're out and they're like, hey, I, j I showed up in Houston. Oh. And you're like, no. whoa. But like that's the bet. Like those trips would like would freak me out. I it happened to me once and it scared the living daylights out of me. I I kind of like I you say Houston, but my last girlfriend met me in Houston as planned. Like I did my first show and we because I was doing like I think it was like Houston. It was Austin, Houston. I did Austin first. She wasn't there. Then I did Houston, then Lafayette, and then down to New Orleans. Did a show and then uh, we spent five days there, four days there. You know, so like. But that was the best. Like, get, we got in the car the next morning yeah, after, yeah. and like we got donuts and just drove, Grabbing you know, like coffee, just, just doing, doing, that, doing that. And she's like, you know, and then like, it's not a, 
I think it's kind of a beautiful drive, like like into Louisiana, it even is. though it's kind of swampy like and gross. It's still, like, it's so, it's so yeah. interesting. You it's know, a few. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then you know, like you stop and get boudin, and you do all this kind of road, to, like that stuff. I love forever. You know, like I, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna love that memory forever, even though this woman I, might hate me forever. I want to take that Our, trip with you. Yeah, beignets, boudin. Yeah. Let's fucking Actually, go. You and I have never. I don't you know. You and what... I have never eaten poorly together <laughs> in a car. <laughs> Obviously, it's, it's about stra- food. It's pretty much like it's crazy. It didn't work out. I did not have with you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, boys. Yeah. Talk about your beignets or whatever's going on. Beignets. What's it called? Boudin. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm beignets. Uh, beignets. What's a beignet? Aren't you from a food city? We have food. Correct. <laughs> no, no, but I'm. But this guy like, says he's Italian. He hates I, talking about food. I'm, I'm thinking about like, uh, are there times that you're doing things now? Because you've been doing comedy for a long time and you're doing really well. But are there some times where you go on the road and you're like, I sh- didn't need to do that. Um, like, are you mean, there? Like, are you oh, going to say I didn't mean to do gigs. that? What? Give me an example. G- gigs, gigs yeah. are like, like, uh, is there a point where you're going to be like, I can, cu- I'm still going to be a great comedian. I can cut back on things that. You know, necessarily well, won't. We had put- a fight. This is a very good point. Okay. Because we like, we had a big talk before. We, we were together like a year and a half, and I guess this is probably eight nine months in, maybe a little less than a year. I don't. Whatever. Uh, about halfway into the relationship. Like, Which was ha- this was how long again? Sorry, that you guys uh, were together. Uh, I guess a year. Yeah, what I- a little over a year. Okay, maybe okay, like, okay, okay. Somewhere between a year. So the six year month mark. Okay. Ish, you know, like whatever. Enough to be thinking about this is serious. Whatever. You know. Um. I was kind of talking to her. I was like, you know, because it was really hard. Like, she was like, your schedule's insane. And, you know, like, and I was like, I can come, you know, like, I'm like, I'm in Detroit. I can I can fly to you after Detroit, and then I, I'll stay with you, and I just won't go home. And then I'll, 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 I'll go to Florida for those gigs. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And by the way, this is true. It's That is hard, too. Like, on me physically. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's no, like, that's it's brutal. It's to not be home in my own bed like, at all and i'm so i am putting in a lot of effort oh that, absolutely like, you know that's that's horrific yeah four days in detroit because even though you don't going? see them and but you, i'm trying you're the really one, hard no no, 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 no. <laughs> but i'm talking about in the long distance relationship even though that you as the person you're both long distance but because you're the one that's traveling for work you are more responsible in their eyes to like make time for them yeah. in their city yeah. when it's like you yeah. would always come here, but I'm the one traveling, so therefore I need to be the one that makes the effort because yeah. I'm never anywhere. It was really hard. It was like difficult yeah. thing because it's also like it's like yeah, but we're like we're long. Di- I'm not leaving you at home. Like right. I, I'm traveling and you know yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, it was but, one, of the, one of these things we were talking about, and she was like, "Am I?" Uh, she was. Um, I, I was like, she was like, "We have to make plans," and I was like. Okay, let's make them. And then I would like kind of be like, "What about these days? What about these? You know, like and send suggestions." And then sometimes she wouldn't make them, or I was like, "That won't work because of this." You know, and she was like, "You're always picking the the work." And I was like, "Yeah, but this work is already here. I'm yeah, not yeah, like yeah. you know like this was before we had this like this list of calendar day. You know how it works. It's like you don't get a gig tomorrow most of the time to fly out. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. it's planned three of six. And you have now. a job. You you need to put a note like notice yeah. for your yeah. vacation time. So it like, was kind of it was really different. And then and I was like. You know, in some, so th- to answer your question, <laughs> I thought, you know, in some societies, the men eat the women. Yeah. <laughs> so you're lucky I'm not doing that. Uh, that I love circling uh, back, eh, big yeah, Mike? I love Sweden. <laughs> uh, Mike will be full, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but is that a fat joke? Or yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. I wasn't yeah, sure yeah. which one. What you would all the women. Oh, okay. You would pray mantis every no, woman. I want to. I, I want to hear about this. Like, I want to know I where would, you're. I would, you know, like have these dates and. She, We'd like look down the calendar, and I'd be like, I can't do, you know, these like we had this talk, and then I had a really full calendar for like, I, I guess like it was probably within the past six months that we had this talk, and it was just like, ting ting, like just a like every weekend like gone, busy, with, busy. With, yeah, with, you were busy, my own stuff or headline with yeah, yeah, yeah. business trips to L.A. or whatever, uh, and I, w- I was she was like, we were looking at the dates, and I was like, what about this? What about that? And we were trying to get there and finding the space. And then I had to like just talk to her. I was like, look, there's going to be times where I have to like, we have to plan way out, but I have to pick work over our being together because it's better for my career, not because it's better for my bank account. Right. Like, right, right. so like that, if to answer so your you question, ex- like, money is okay right now. It's not like where I want to be at all, but it's like, I'm, Fine, you know, so, but my point being is, like, if we had plans, I would never cancel them because a gig came in just to do a club. Like, just, right. like in the sense that the money is, like, but if it was, like, hey, 
this big comic needs you for three weeks. You know, like, so, and this is a networking so opportunity then, to grow your career, not your bank account. So then, right, at right, what right. point are are you going to be satisfied with your career, where now you could maybe? Because I breathe I, a little, like when yeah. I'm making those decisions for myself, and okay. I have that kind of weight. You but know, like, who knows when that can be, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, you know. But like, that's what I've chosen to do. You know, and I even told her like, sometimes like, you know, like. I'll have to cancel something we have planned five months. I wouldn't cancel like a trip to the Bahamas, but if it right. was like, I'm coming to see you. And, and then they were like, hey, you know, like there's like, there's this like little part you can be in that could lead to more work or whatever. Yeah. It's I, a like, huge it's opportunity. Kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's about the opportunity. It's not about just working. And it's about growing my career into a space where I can make those decisions. I've, and, I feel, sorry. What did this last one do again like for work? Um, Concert would, manager was that what you said? No, that's not a job. Events manager. Events manager. No, no, no. <laughs> Isn't that what you said? Concert Something about promoter. a concert. concert promoter. Oh, okay, hey, I combined the so two. She Forgive me for <laughs> listening. No, this last one was an artist, and she also put in um, drywall. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah paint. Yeah, yeah. She was a painter. What's an artist? Yeah, she was a painter. So she oh. was basically but working she, from her town, from home. But she yeah. also like. W- so when you go to a gallery or a museum. <laughs> You guys. <laughs> Means uh, couple now. <laughs> Means but couple. Like, they, some, they have to design how to put that in. He picks up garbage from the MoMA. garbage in the outside, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to design how to put that in. Like, it doesn't just go up. You know, like, there's a real plan laid out. And, like, yeah, curator. Because, yeah, and so she puts all this shit together. And, like, how are you going to hang this piece of art? Like, if it's going to hang in the middle and drop down, like... That, that was, was her difficult. other. It really was like it's a lot of fucking. <laughs> like, what do you? you what do you? <laughs> you drive around There's the levity Honda. to it, all right? You know. <laughs> <laughs> that was hanging levity. Yeah. That's what you're trying to do. Just, just that was, yeah. it was pretty good. A little, hey, a little over his head. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just putting women down. Don't you think? This guy's that, all right. <laughs> don't you think though? Like. I feel I feel that guys are a, a little bit more loosey goosey when it comes to long like long term planning than than women. So like when when oh, a, I when plan my lo- my shit's planned long term, Car- like career wise. No, like no, no 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 not career not but career. Like, but like yeah, but like that's like there are two separate things. Like maybe I'm more loosey goosey, but I'm also we just got on this avenue together, and the thing I've already been planning for years. Right. Fair. It's like if I if I think that needs to take priority a lot of the time I don't think that's you pri- you yeah, agree she got, with she got on a one fourteenth you've been at Avenue <laughs> yeah. you Come agree on. you guys agree this with me that though really well for the people in yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> you agree with me though like that girls when yeah they ruin everything women <laughs> <laughs> women ladies broads when they are in a relationship and you both start a relationship they're looking down the line how you're going to be with how where they see you. In, in a year, and men aren't doing that as much. Yeah, I guess so. I think that's probably it. Do you remember my old place with Yogi? Mm-hmm. Do you remember what my wall looked like? Yes. Yeah, everything had a beat and a right, plan, right, like right, with right. a goal. What do you got, like one of those boards, vision boards? Yeah, it was like a similar, It was a whole but, wall I yeah. painted and <laughs> just wrote all my goals on. Oh, okay, okay. But, like, there's beats to it. I had a plan, you know, and I still try to have a plan a lot of the time. So, um, I I think you're right. In the generalizations, I would bet you are right. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I I mean that. Like, I'm not trying to like be right or wrong. I know, but like, like I would assume you're correct. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Do you think that there's something to it? I planned really hard on one, right around one. I think everyone knows that, though. I mean, everyone knows that. uh, All your friends, or whatever I am to you, you know, Italian. Yeah, an Italian (laughs) man with hairy legs and hairy caps. Someone who follows me. Um. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. I was gonna say I don't know what, that but means. I just like, um, I guess, and I, th- I guess it's not wrong for to think like I used to say it's like, if you're in a relationship with someone and this woman wants to start planning right away, I, maybe I'm a bit more hesitant than I need to be. Because in my mind, I'm like, oh, we just got on this path together. I don't, like, why are we planning? I don't think like, you know hesi- what I mean. Like, I don't um, think you're hesitant though. I think it's just it's just you're. You know, you're goal oriented, and you and you want to do well in your career. And I'm just saying, in general, men are women are gonna want to plan and and look into the future quicker than men usually. Yeah, I, I know. I I know a guy who like lived with his girlfriend. I guess when it comes to a relationship, that's true. 
and, and like uh, maybe that, but I guess like because I I only plan solo, so I guess you're right. Like in that sense, so women considering find, another person. But a long distance women find so they find that attractive that you're so goal oriented. I think for a little bit, and yeah. then they really <laughs> yeah yeah think that when, when you yeah. when they're not. <laughs> Well, you put you put uh, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll, yeah. I'll tell you right now. The record is fourteen months. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you're putting roadblocks up, and anyone who does it like comedy, like I've done I it put before. The roadblocks, the roadblocks no, 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 are no, no, good no. for him. The no. road signs, payday. This <laughs> way, <laughs> but then yeah. no, 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 I mean, to, you got to sort of look at a, what you're. Uh, being in a relationship, I know you're. I think me and you are saying. I'm the same on your thing. side, Shane. Let me yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The a long distance relationship, coupled with the fact that you. I have so many goals and your job keeps you away. So like you have a traveling nonstop job and a long distance relationship. Those are two independently very difficult things to overcome to have the happy go lucky relationship that you, you would have. Okay. So the, there's two like, and it's not intentional, but that's just the way it is. You have two very, very high roadblocks to get over yeah, uh, well, in the, the grand sense of things. Here's my point. The traveling does not affect the long distance as much as you would think because it's like traveling would affect if we live together or we're That's in the same place. The traveling affects the, the long distance if you ain't feeling her as much. You in a regular in a regular living together relationship, traveling is a big roadblock and super obsessed with your job and career with just a normal standard relationship in the same town. Those are two and you're doing both of them and they're nowhere near you. See, see what I'm saying? Yeah. So like you're doing two, two. I'm saying you're doing a lot. Yeah. No. I. I just think. I think when they're like you're traveling so much, I'm like, well, we don't live in the same city. <laughs> you know, like I'm like this. It's kind of like negated. Like in my sense yeah. of like, that's like being like you never ride your bike. Well, I have a car. Like yeah. I don't. You know, like it doesn't. But it's got to be a subtle thing of like you're traveling so much. It's and more you, exhausting. But you can't but travel that's to come see me also, more often. You know. Yeah, because of work. Like right. The, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, but they can. Do you think that no, it, it, do you buddy, think, Shane, that they're Susan? <laughs> <laughs> do you? I mean, do you do you consciously something... see that though? Like, do you feel I that? Like, like, you feel yourself logic, not getting into relationships? Think, like, I think logically, I see it, but consciously, I'm not con. Like, I don't remain conscious of it all the time. I'm just like, it's like any relationship. You become infatuated with a person in the beginning. Yeah. You know, like you're more excited to see. You're not thinking um, about like. The parameters of distance, but do you think you can the, mitigate uh, the the pain of a breakup because it's like, oh, well, yes. they're far away. I don't have to see them. Yeah, I don't well, have to see them, yeah, and then we're yeah. gonna break up eventually there's because it's long distance. Now, but like, I'm, yeah, there's some of that. Yeah, but there's no worrying about running into them. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. You just delete them on social media, and they're just gone from your yeah. life. Yeah, they're all blocked. Have you? <laughs> 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 have you ever? Have you gotten muted, close? Muted. Though. Yeah, I was gonna say I can't afford to block anybody. I don't have the fan base. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Yeah, you're verified for Christ's uh, sake. You, you can block whoever you want. You're you're a muter. I'm a blocker. Or, have you no, ever sorry, gotten close to having them? <laughs> I mean. um, like, have you ever talked about moving to their city or them moving to New York? Well, and, first of all, I have never talked about moving to their city. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking that maybe. We had, like, like, the he's the headliner. He doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, have yeah, they yeah. talked to you about like, well, what if you just moved here? Yeah. Has that ever come <laughs> up? And how those? Uh, well, like, <laughs> well, there's four open mics in Minneapolis. So I think I was going to do a lot of work. Yeah, it was just on Zillow, and there's a great place opening yeah. up yeah, right there in Brooklyn. Those, those kind the of the... <laughs> oh dear. There are those thoughts of like, it's not that I. I think maybe. Because of my demeanor, I have made it hard for them to bring those kind of things up. Like, if I'm being 100% candid. And like, your demeanor is? Uh, I guess I always feel like when that stuff's coming up, it's coming up out of the blue. You know, uh, like, if it, if it comes, it'll always seem abrupt if someone's like, what do you think about me, you know, like, moving to New York? And I'll be like, what? What, have we've only been together five years. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, but what, no, I think I think I like my my demeanor is like comes off like probably like I don't really want to talk about it and some of that's true but also some of it's like I don't know how to approach it and I don't know what it looks like you know and I also was thinking about like if a woman move here for me this was like a big issue because I, I talked about it with I didn't really talk about it this one gal I was dating she was like you know I ran into I talked with like an old um, colleague of mine and and uh, she was like you should move to New York you'd be great at this job here and. And that was like kind of one of the closer things we've gotten to about like I was like oh really would, would you want to you know like and that was like, <laughs> like I don't yeah, think you yeah, would but it was crime is up you don't want to come here honestly the Democrats ruined the city the crime is up I was surprised you know but like it was also very like 
a thing I should have been thinking about. But it's not, and then I also have the side of like if a, if someone moves to New York and I'm still on the road a bunch, that's right. very you know what I mean. Like so that's why that's like one of these things. I'm like, why well, I'm trying to move out of this long distance habit I have and be like, I'd rather have somebody run into somebody here that it might be a little awkward bit for. I trust who I am as a person in the sense that like if somebody breaks up with me. Hopefully they won't think I'm a bad person. Have, you know what I mean? Like, have you like, ever given yourself um, like a, a chance job? in your? Yeah, well, <laughs> we've all been down that road. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> if have you ever given yourself the opportunity and chance of of being like this is the person that I'm going to legitimately be. I I I don't want to make any assumptions, but I feel like some of the things you've been telling us already is like you're going into the bit of these relationships knowing that they may not might not work and they're fun. Yeah. But has there been one? person that you're like this is someone who's worth there a are, chance a chance um yeah there are women i should have tried harder with okay yeah I think everyone yeah. has that though yeah no but like but in a way i'm like yeah maybe like but i also wasn't ready or mature enough meant you know like whatever it was like or or also you are I you wasn't ever gonna love. be mature and ready enough uh, i mean i don't know i got a girlfriend who i love am i mature Oh, Am I ready? <laughs> off, I feel, off camera, that was no well, you suck. What's that, um, <laughs> what's that great Simpsons st- line where Marge goes to Lisa? Some women will tell you you're a fool to try and change a man, but those women are quitters. <laughs> <laughs> when I met your father, he was loud, drunk, and obnoxious. <laughs> Lisa goes, Mom, Dad is still. Goes, He's a completely different person. <laughs> But are you like you're? Yeah, I, I think it's an interesting point to say. You know, you're there's there's some sort of like protection in knowing that they don't live here, and it's it's I going into this, I know that it's not going to work. Then yeah, in the long there, term, yeah, there's some of that true. But there's also your soul. stuff like it would send me like it wasn't just that. Like it's not like I'm just no, no, a protector, no, no. but like I want to put like, um, you know, like one of the women I dated would just, just be like, I, I'm trying so hard to get this thing off the ground that like for her work. And then I, I would ask her about it. I'm like, how's that going? You know? And, and she, I just don't have the energy for it. And that would happen a lot. And I'd be like, that was like really like not attractive to me. And it, it actually was kind of like, I think you're lying to yourself about how hard you're working on this thing. You know, would uh, you say that to her? No. no. So what? Well, no, of course. <laughs> no, well, hold I, on. I, I let it go. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, fifteen months. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little way, long ways down the road, you know. Like, like, and, and, yeah. I, and, I, and, and I just, you don't. I don't know how to say that, but like, I sometimes I, I just like, look, man, I am fucking tired a, a lot, and I work really hard, and I'm like, but I still go. You know, I still go to work and I still try and do my shit. And it's, it's not like sometimes I don't want to go out, but I have three sets. Like, and it would, it would not affect my career in any way to cancel some of these shows right, right, or, right. or, or like, no, or it. not. Yeah, you do it. You like, do that, it. You, just do what? The you, you have to get up off the mat when you're tired. Yeah. That's the difference between being a su- successful person in a lot of ways. Like, and it's not like the, uh, some of these things are changing my life, but it's like, it's about having the habit of being yeah. a worker. Yeah, like, but, and some people are not workers. But the both of you, you could still get up off the mat if you're, t- if, when you're tired, but you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're making strides in, in terms of completing yourself and happiness as a person. Just because you're going and doing all this and saying you're doing all that, there's other things to life yeah, but what than do you a want? career. Hey, what this do you fell want? out of you. <laughs> That's a clip. Clip it. Clip it. Because I got busy. I mean, I look nice, at least. <laughs> so I look like a good person. <laughs> no, but but uh, no, you're not. I wasn't recording. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. He's fucking kidding. He better be kidding. Oh, do it, do it again. <laughs> okay, yeah. <That's>, you're clear. <laughs> I just like do it with like, yeah, a uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try a couple different things. Uh, I I, I don't all, disagree with I you. I hear all these people but, go, oh, when I get to this level, when I get to that level, when I get to blah 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 blah. I, it's going to change. And then they get there, and I'm like, you're still fucked. You're still... Not that you are. This no, isn't no, about no, no, no. You, and you're not you. wrong. They're like, I've heard this this like um, position before where like, it's like, no matter where you get, you're always going to want more. So you need to figure out what it is you want to get to. You yeah. know what I mean? And what I want to get to is... Um, 
yet to be determined. I know what it look. I know it, it's further down. Don't you think way. that's like a little fucking anxiety? What, what do you want to get to in your personal relationship? My personal relationship? Yeah, yeah. Me? Like, cause you're well, this, I, these are the comparatives. I, I, I want to like you know I want to marriage aside because I'm sure she wants. Wants she, to get to the point where she I wanna, tells him to get married. I want to. I want to have like you know I want to have kids. You want to have kids? Yeah. You want to get married? Yeah, for sure. And. Uh, Mar- marriage, the whole thing stresses you want, me out. You, but me but out. you, yeah, you want a family life in a way, like as, as part of your life. Yeah, I'd like yeah. a kid for sure. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Kids, um, not one kid. I like I'm, a, a kid I'm, for sure. I'm so, <laughs> like a pickup at the grocery store. <laughs> no kid for sure. I know, but you said it like, oh, and a kid for sure. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oreos. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's, it's very casual the way. You yeah, say. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess my point is, I, you do you. You like you like I want to have a, a marriage and kids, which is great. I think about those things too to some degree. I think about my career more, but I also think about like, hey, fucking, my parents were divorced and we were hand to mouth. I never want to live that way again, ever in my fucking life. And like, and like, I don't. So I don't like. I'd rather not have. If I wanted to really have kids, and I think about it sometimes, I don't know if I do or I don't. I would rather not have them than have it be like. That be I, don't, I don't only want to have kids. Yeah, in I know, a, but like, but like married, that's, my, that's why way. I'm valuing one of the reasons I value this more in some regard. I was gonna say that. I was, I was thinking to myself before you said that. I was like, is it right for the kid to just have a kid because society tells you to have a kid and I'm you're not, not doing financially that. Yeah, no, you're not ready? Doing, you're not doing that. But like, but like that, that is a thing I'm concerned with, and I'm sure you are too. Oh yeah, yeah. Is it responsible? So like, it's more responsible in my mind to like. Get to this place, be, a be place where I know enough. I have enough money. It may not be where I, exactly where I want my career to be, but if I'm making this amount of dollars, I'm like, but okay, my mom raised me on half. You of got that. a number yeah, of that, but like I'm saying, you don't have to say it, but you got a number yeah. in your head I, to some degree. Yeah, I know okay. what I know. So like, you, I know what the bottom of that. So looks you do. Like. You said before you yeah. didn't have a, a, f- a to be determined. You said so you do have a. There's a goal. I think it sounds like right? an, I'm, 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 a, I guess there's a bottom. That's what I was okay. going to say. Yeah. You know okay. what you don't want to do. Yeah. You know what you don't want to have, or you know what you do want to not have. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And like, I'm sorry if this co- am coming. No, no, I'm, you're not, not, I'm, I'm not taking any offense to you for once in my okay. life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm bringing this home and I'm framing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let me ask you this. Let's. Um, I, I do want to ask you a couple of questions before we wrap it up. To, uh, I, uh, we're I, done. I, do, I, I have a quick. No, not yet. I do have a quick question. What, so, do you guys reimburse me for my Uber? <laughs> or, uh, we're right off the train. Train. Where? Do you guys still take the train? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what the fuck is this? Sex in the with city? All the fam- yeah, with, yeah, all the, with all the, the families? Train. I'll then know you the eight, I'll then make eight bucks you to get you to the train. <laughs> um, I have a car. The, uh, the, uh, what was that? Oh, yeah, you we have a train. Uh, that's right. Uh, 9-11. Uh, uh, I swore I'd never go there again. Uh, probably before the pandemic. Oh, wow. Was what? Last time I was on a train. train. Seeing Scobo yeah, on a train yeah. is weird. Well, like I mean, like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you no, no, like, <laughs> First of all, I have a car. I don't drink anymore, so there's kind of no point of me taking yeah, a yeah, train. Yeah, whatever. We don't. So, so if you could give somebody advice that's in a long-distance relationship that wants it to work, as being a man that's been in uh, more than several failed uh, <laughs> <laughs> relationships, but no, what would you? How? What kind of advice would you give somebody that's like, I'm trying to figure out my long-term relationship that you've learned? Long-distance, not the, long-term. I'm sorry, long, long distance. distance. Yeah. I'm sorry, yes. Um, <laughs> not long, ter- not a term. That's somebody else's podcast yeah. we're interviewing. I, uh, I guess if I um, really had to think about it, I would have the conversation about how serious things need to be sooner. Oh, yeah, like, okay. Yeah, like, uh, there, it builds into a lot of, like, what are we fucking doing? Tension. And people say, you know, and it's scary, you know, like, and it makes even saying things like "I love you" harder at first because people are scared to like, you know, is this fun? Is just fun still, or is this like you know, like so? Like I would say, ask like wh- like you can ask somebody like, "What are we doing here?" Like, what's the like? I'm not. You don't have to have an answer right away. They don't have to have an answer right away, but I think you be plant like, the seed. Yeah, or just like talk about it. You know, so like, be which, is, which it, took a, it took us in a few relationships I've been in that are long distance. Like it take it takes. It took way too long, you know, and I think it built us like anxiety in both of us, even though, you know, uh, because then you kind of go back at, in hindsight, you look at stuff, and you're like, I should have done this better. And I, I like, maybe I, I felt because they were acting this way because I maybe wasn't being as proactive as, as I should have, or mm-hmm. like, or they felt like they couldn't be proactive. 
uh, for whatever reason. Uh, and it wasn't things they were doing. That's the thing. That's that's the part that I think is really bad is when you, in a relationship you're like, when somebody says, well, I didn't do this because of the way you were acting. You know, like, it's like, right. that's like, fuck off. Like, like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not, that's an excuse on their part. Yeah, that's, yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, like, it's course. like, yeah, like, it's like, and I like, and I have been that, you know, I've told myself that lie before. Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah, we all have. So, so yeah, and in, in a long distance relationship, that does a lot of damage too, because there's other variables floating in the air. Yeah, it sounds like communication is, is something that that just based on what you've been saying is something that you're not great at with these type not of relationships. A yeah, you yeah, no, no, that's fair, right? Yeah. Is that a fair point? Yeah, I don't think I'm great at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. having those conversations. I mean, what do I need to communicate? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought about going into these relationships with a microphone? <laughs> I just imagine every time he breaks up with a girl, goes, hold on a second. Let me tell you why it's not working out here, sweetheart, all right? I just do pillow talk with it. He <laughs> looks so nice this morning. But Speak if, up. You're on a podcast. At, at the end of the day, a long-distance relationship, if you do like the person and love the person, well, I guess love at the beginning, who knows, they're, they're pl- they can work. I mean, obviously, I have to say that. Yeah. I'm in a long-distance relationship. I've also been in relationships with someone who's three blocks down from me that I've not liked. And those are way worse than being with someone that I love who's yeah. four. You're so- not changing any of my positions. <laughs> what sounds like, it almost sounds like the same rules apply with just a couple of minor tweaks. Like, yeah. open, honest communication, yeah, I don't and think put I, the work in. I don't think, like, uh, my traveling has to be that big a deal in a long-distance relationship. I really don't, you know, like... No. Because, like, it's, like, it doesn't matter if I'm FaceTiming you from a hotel room or my apartment or, like, I'm, like, oh, I'm doing shows at the cellar late tonight or if I'm in, like, or I'm three hours behind you in California's time zone, like, like because I'm doing shows there, you know, and then... Well, I there is a you, difference. I'm, uh, what? There is a big difference because when you go home, that's, that's, it's much different than... Visiting somebody once a month. No, no. What, what, I, I mean? what I'm saying is, like, if it's long distance, and like, uh, for example, they're like, uh, in this last relationship, she was an hour behind me time wise, right? But then if I was on the West Coast doing shows, I'm two hours behind her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so, I'd, and I'd be like, oh, well, I just got done with work at 11 30. And she'd be like, I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. You know, like, like, it's like, it's a, but on the other, you don't think about that on the other. And when I'm an hour ahead of you and I've been bouncing around doing spots all night and you want me to call and stay up an hour later, you know, like, which I don't mind, but it is one of those things. It's like, there's little things like Got that. Got a give and take. Yeah. That's Do like you know, yeah. irritate the sh- been in a relation, long distance relationship that it worked out? Like, yeah, yeah. You're looking no, 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 but yeah. stayed long distance. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Someone's got to move. <laughs> Someone's got to move. Someone's got to move. Someone's got to move, yeah. Someone's gotta oh, move. continuing to be long distance? Well, they have to have I reasons mean... to be in the play. Like, there, has, there has to be a reason for other people to, for the person to move to the city you're in, like outside of your relationship. How, Otherwise, it's a dramatic amount of pressure. How long does it have to be long distance wise before both people go, well, this is done? Like four years? Bef- no, no. Like, How long were you in a long distance relationship? Two, and then now it's four. And now it's four. Two. I, two. I, I, yeah, you're crunching the numbers here. <laughs> no. You set me up with something. I just think it's probably like help. Her. She's probably looking for a way out about now. <laughs> well, I got Fire worse. This, right there. This poor, this poor girl moved in. The, moved in. The, moved in with him like seven days before the pandemic. Yeah. Like lockdown. Oh, so she showed up to New York yeah. and was like, "Well, now it's just me and you for the indefinite future." Yeah. 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 Fire away, no. What do you got? <laughs> yeah. It's just easy to get an up-close look at the nipple ring. <laughs> she always oh, did, yeah, baby. you have that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it, yeah. shut the cameras off. What happened off, to your old, you. old Indian roommate, that old guy? <laughs> Jay. Yeah, Jay. He Great lives guy. with uh, J.P. McDade. J.P. McDade lives in their place, in that house now? No, that place is long gone. Okay. He was an honorary buddy. Yeah, you were an honorary yeah, buddy. Thank you for that. And, he, and he got us a couch. We didn't say that in the intro. He gave us his couch. Yeah, we did have a couch. Kind yeah. of that fucking, that, that was, was a that was, beast. That was, that was a day I will. I wish I could forget. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't. Mike was like, but I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never tried... I've never felt more useless, more helpless physically. Being okay. able to... I, could, I literally couldn't get this thing oh. up. It was bad. It was a bad day. Yeah. Great bonding. Couldn't get though. it up, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, all thanks, right, so we buddy. got one, one, one or two quick questions that have, you don't have to be anything about this. What was this? Just relax, would you? Uh, <laughs> doesn't have to be about this topic, but we always ask a couple of questions at the end of the show. You got okay. shot in the heart, right? <laughs> and you had a son that was right before you got shot in the heart. And you were dying, and the last thing that you said to him—and blood was coming out of yeah, your mouth. Yeah, yeah. As you're as you're shopping. coming out, you're you're not thinking about you know my life is in the past. You're gonna think, is what's there a one phone? thing I could tell my son as I'm bleeding out of my heart, 
and you're dying, what is the one thing you say? So I'll, I'll, I'll I would say, son, son. <laughs> would you not want I'm to say actually who? your uncle? <laughs> 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 all right, all right. <laughs> what? What? No. That's it. That's it. That's it. We're over. What? No. Nah, we're not talking about this. Another one. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no. The, the part of the point of the show is to try to get a little bit more emotional and vulnerable. We did that all podcast. I understand that, but oh, we, we we try funny. to have a couple of questions at the end that they all they always just seem to shit on. But it, to me, it feels it feels like the most vulnerable open you could possibly be. What? Um, how much money do you have? Uh, no. How, on me or in general? Yeah. How many women have you had sex with? Uh, uh, the I did that the other day. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> what's you if you what what's like one regret that you think you have in your life? If you could pick one thing that you wish you really wish you didn't do. Oh my god. The Omaha funny bone. <laughs> <laughs> they won't have me back. Uh, um I don't I, I I'm sure they're out there, but like I don't Exactly, have one that stands out in particular. I guess um, you don't have I to wish answer. I wish I worked more. <laughs> 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 All right, that's good. But yeah. that's fine. I love you guys. I love you, buddy. Thanks Show for doing that. I love you. Thank you, buddy. Mike, I love you. Fire away, Rich, sweet kid. Are, are, you are, you are those question? shorts? No, no. Yeah, we're, these are great legs. No, we're done. You look like a Ukrainian right. lawnmower. <laughs> All right, thanks for listening, Shane. Uh, Shane, tw- what's your social media handles? Oh, at- yeah, yeah what what thanks so much. For, yeah. Thanks for fucking ruining the plug. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> fucking idiot. Uh, anything coming up? What's the... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, sh- <laughs> Shane Torres across all social media platforms. No Accounting for Taste podcast with Kyle Kinane. Uh, I'm going to be doing a new special at the end of the year, so check that out. Oh, that's um, exciting. What else do I got? What's your podcast about? Uh, it's a uh, we defend things people tend to make fun of and shit on like so we did new metal last week we did uh, an episode on uh, we're trying to find the positive in the easily shunned I guess so I thought it was a something to like do to, with t- t- tomorrow we're recording an episode on the McRib Ooh, uh, love the McRib, McRib. love what the it, McRib yeah oh you can eat buffets these like uh, Florida <laughs> uh, yeah, so that episode we did. Uh, the, but those kind of, those kind of things, like things that people easily just dismiss without good regard. Like, you know, and sometimes some some subjects are harder than each other. And what, what's it called again? No accounting for taste. No okay. accounting for taste with All Shane Torres and Network. Kyle Bill Kinnane. Burr owns that. Interesting, baby. Yep. Thank you so much for being here, Shane. We love Thanks you. Thanks for having me, guys. I really had a good time. Sam, you were great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, goodbye, everybody. Thanks, pal. Thanks, buddy. It was fun. That was a fun. Blast. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, we got deep, huh?